News 2 at 4. Well, fighting fentanyl, it's an ongoing problem in Middle Tennessee, and recently an 18-year-old died following a suspected drug overdose. As Nikki McGee tells us, deputies are asking for more resources to keep the deadly drug off the streets. It's a call Lieutenant Shannon Heflin never wanted to go on. The first thing that hits my mind that they were somebody's baby, you know, that uh, somebody loved them. On April 12th, Lieutenant Heflin was sent to investigate the suspected heroin fentanyl drug overdose death of 18 year old Tyler Scott, a teen he had tried to help before. Coming out and uh, seeing his mother pull up on the scene and watching her emotions, you know, you will never get used to that. Although Heflin can't turn back time, he and his department are going to the county commission asking for three new narcotics agents to hopefully prevent more deaths like Tyler's. With 26 overdose fatalities in 2022, we're still actively investigating the majority of those cases and it takes a lot of manpower, a lot of time. This year we're already at, at six. We're not able to be proactive and go attack the problem up front. While Heflin looks for solutions in his own county, he believes other steps are needed nationwide. We're not going to be able to stop until everybody comes together. Our lawmakers are going to have to make the law stronger. The president's going to have to stand up. He's going to shut the border down. And uh, there's got to be more legislation in place to make it a stiffer penalty. I mean, this stuff is poison. It's killing people. Heflin says he'll continue to push for more resources and manpower to combat fentanyl, keeping families like Tyler to that and uh, seeing the other family members come up, his brother watching them mourn and uh, just the mental anguish that they're going through suffering from the loss of uh, a child uh, who uh, suffered from addiction. Um, it's uh, just something that you'll never get used to. Right now, agents are still working hard to solve Tyler's death and find any drug dealers who may have played a role in this. If you have any information, you're asked to call the number on your screen. And remember that tipsters can remain anonymous. Mark.